Alright guys, well welcome back to some more No Man's Sky. We're on that planet that was claimed by somebody else. And let's see if my dots everywhere thing on the HUD is still an issue. Your planet that was what? We're on a planet that someone else found first. Nice. Wow. I remember when hearing that probably wouldn't happen in a million years. Yeah, I think years. the scanner was just bugging out. Because now I have no dots on my scanner. Alright, well, we've already gotten all our backpack upgrades, so I'm gonna head back to that moon. I really wanna see at least one species. That way you can see what they named it? I, I just wanna, like, it, it'd be interesting, because I don't know how many more times we're gonna run across known systems. Although, admittedly, if they're following the Atlas path, every system is gonna be known by somebody. They mm. said, the devs said it probably wouldn't happen ever in a million years, so. No, I was running across somebody. Well, yeah, but running as soon as you find a system someone owns, it's not hard to find them. Well, in theory. Okay, it wouldn't be hard to find them if it existed, but it doesn't exist, so... Yeah, yeah. it's kind of hard. Is that the moon? Is that another planet? It looks big enough to be the moon. Yeah, we're coming up on it really quick. Because the moon actually had life. And after this, we're going to hop to some more systems, see if we can find planets with the Omegon, or what was the other thing I needed? Vortex cubes or vertex cubes? Is the moon already discovered? Yeah. So everything's discovered, okay. Vortex cubes. That's the other thing I'm looking for. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to skim along and see if I can actually see a species, because you can actually, they, they, they do spawn in while you're in the ship. I think that's different than it was launch day. At least the flying ones do. So maybe, just maybe, there's a chance. Let's just stop here, I guess. Us finding a species. It's probably just gonna be inappropriately named, but I, you know, it could be an interesting name, the system. All right, let's see. Do we have any nearby species? What was game. the planet? Like, was the planet named? The planet was named, yes. But I can't look it up because it doesn't let me unless I have the species tab, I think. Oh. Or no, it was Dushmelt Nephogas. Truly, truly a unique name. Come on. See, now I'm not getting dots anywhere on my scanner. Also, I have apparently a third zoom level on my scanner that I've literally never used. I always thought there was just two levels. Check word for help. Oh, oh, nope, those are ships. Damn it. I heard a sound, and I'm like, yay, species. Ah. Uh, Alright, what I'm gonna do... Get myself some pearls. Where's the dog? There he is. And pop. 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 Alright. Alright, let's go break into this facility or whatever this is and then, uh,. I guess we'll just head to the next system. We'll probably run across more populated systems because we're apparently moving farther down the quest lane, so. Come on, you need to be running a little bit faster. I've got only so much radiation protection left. Ooh, my exosuit is actually uh, running out of power. Yeah. Oh no, not a storm. Damn it. So oh. That I just had to get inside the building. Alright, let's see what this Gek wants. Friend, Gek Trader, Gek Trader, Friend Language. Um, 
Platform's eyes wide and surprised when I go talk to it. It leans back and watches for sudden movements. Very clearly never seen anything quite like me before. Mime that I can't speak its language and increasingly reassured. The beak trader indicates that in exchange for certain elements, it's willing to help. So does it want carbon, iron, or heridium? Well, it's a trader, so would it want the metal more? I don't know. I'm just going to find a plant and give it 10 carbon. Seems like the easiest way to do it. Please tell me I have some carbon in my inventory. They have the cutest hats, I've got to say. Damn it. Uh, do you have another house plant somewhere? I can just steal some. Fine. Getting iron. So this was out, was out two, nine again. Come on. It was outside the door. Oh, there's another plant behind him. Whatever. We'll see. We'll try the iron. Hey! It likes the iron. Okay. So the traders do like minerals. Learn the geck word for stupid. Okay? So they like minerals, huh? Bewitchment. Wow, the word for bewitchment. I don't know how to say oxide or silicate or isotope yet, but I learned the word for bewitchment. As the observatory, screw that, I don't want ruins. Grab another outpost on this planet. I did have one tip that I don't want to be going just at this interface, at this interface. I want to be jumping to at least one system in between every time. Because otherwise I won't get to meet uh, Nada and Polo again. They don't appear apparently in interface only systems. Alright. Let's look at our star charts, see what we can find. Orbital station coordinates received. Come on. All right, Atlas interface. Come on, can we? Okay. This way, that's six planets. I really rather not go to big systems because I kind of like exploring each system completely. But I don't want to... Oh, the redhead guy apparently has gone this entire route. Yeah, he's actually discovered everything along this uh, chain. Huh. That's interesting. Now well, it saves me the exploration time. Yeah, look at that. So I must be following somebody's footsteps. That's kind of cool. All right, well, this one's got five planets. I guess we're not going to go to all of them because, you know, they've already been discovered. We'll go here. That is really weird, though. We actually managed to find somebody else's path in space. I mean, I guess the Atlas thing does narrow it down. Like, anyone in my region of space would have merged at the uh, Atlas interfaces if they were following the quest line. But that'll be interesting when we find a system that somebody hasn't named. Yep, and there's not on Polo Station. Actually, apparently, even though they were in a whole bunch of these things, like, a lot of them are still undiscovered. Like, all these planets have not yet been discovered, so... They took the system, but not everything else. Also, the shit is this! I have never seen that before. a rare element asteroid? Um, it... It's guess gold! It's, really? Huh. My guess was gonna be Radnox. Yeah, I thought it would be a purple element or something. That's kinda cool. Right, let's go see Nod and Polo. Oh, there. it's one of the break... like, one hit breakable ones. This is gold, okay. Yeah, that was kinda weird. Oh, good. I'm glad we came to this random system.
Ugh. Come on, let me in. I do like their space station because it lets me in the fastest. Also, they have the best doors. Alright, let's see what Nada and Polo... Get falling apart or something? It was, like, shaking violently there. Oh, hey, they moved. That's kind of cool. Oh, hello again. Return to Atlas Control, find Galactic Core, meaning help you on journey, decide. Um, did you... At not as they reveal the core XP, some are freed of the group mind and researching the origins of the galaxy. They express a bold theory that our entire reality is something else, someone, something else's experiment, a simulation. I want to laugh, then I remember the Atlas. Or remember the fact that I'm actually playing a game which is a simulation of a galaxy. <laughs> Offers me a choice again, or is it a test? To be returned to the fixed path of the Atlas, find black holes carrying me to the galaxy's core, or accept a gift to aid me in my own travels. Well, I already know, like, Atlas is going to keep guiding me to the next Atlas, so... I'm going to grab the gift, just in case it's something I didn't know, but it isn't. Talk to Polo. What's up, Polo? Talk, read, study monoliths. Give yourself a strong brain to match those strong legs. To explore is to discover yourself, friend. Polo bobs up and down happily as I approach, apparently convinced that I'm some kindred spirit in an odyssey of exploration and invention. Undecided as to whether I share this ethos. Polo is particularly fascinated by how my brain is affected by interaction with alien language and culture. Like the fact that looking at random stones teaches me a single word and I somehow understand the concept. And I truly understand such profoundly unfamiliar concepts. Is there a limit to how much I can learn? I have wondered this too. Alright. You can have that. Runs an instrument over my head, his hands trembling with excitement. Then he fizzles feverishly with an arcane machinery and proudly presents me with a ricochet blueprint that I already know. Well, thank you. At least it seems like he's giving me something different every time. Eh, okay looking multi-tool. We'll just make sure to stop off at uh, one of his stations every time. Alright, let's find the main station. And we'll see if this place has the... Uh... What element did we need? We needed Omega. Yeah, Omega on. This way. I'm making we can visit this planet and its moon. I think that might sound like fun. Cut back on the visits a little. Oh shit! Don't hit the space station. Cut back on the visits a little bit to speed up our path along the quest line because it's not too much different on every planet, but it's kind of nice to explore every little bit. We're just never gonna get anywhere if we stop off at every single planet. I like the paint job on this station. Um, thank you, attracting blue beam of docking, for not actually hooking into me. ship. Kind of a cool looking little one. Alright, so we're in Corvax space still. Which is good because I know second most Corvax. Or actually, I probably know more Corvax than I know Vikeen now. Um, you're not wanting to buy the pearls at high prices. Alright, you're useless to me for that. Come on. You want to sell me Vortex Cubes! Ah, oh, but only two of them. I just need one more vortex cube, and then I can build my next gun. Ha ha ha! And your ship is oh my god! A forty-six slot ship is a hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad I've upgraded my ship for free. This game doesn't seem to realize how grindy that is to getting that much money. Holy shit! There's and there's no you like you don't gain a better way of making money the longer you play the game. He doesn't have any of that. Want to buy the pearls or something at a higher price? No. 
How about this guy? Come on, I'm feeling lucky that I found two of the three that I need to make the uh, chip item. Sack Venom, that's something new. Night Crystals. So apparently there are resources on worlds I haven't discovered yet. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like any of these guys are going to buy for great prices. So most traders seem to have, like, two-thirds of their wares exactly the same, and then the last third seems to vary a bit. Yeah, they all seem to sell a little bit different on that last page. And apparently they're all very intelligent traders because they keep offering me the same exact price and they're not, like, being gullible on the stuff I've got. Alright. Well, the Atlas Pass doesn't get us anything special in that room because we've maxed our, uh, suit size. Let's just head into the main area and check out the Galactic Terminal. Hello there, Mr. Corvax. Let us do your quest. Help Traveler Absorb Blank. Master Strict beams a moving image into my visor. Complex equations detailing fascinating technology. Spin pass. Chemical formula. Ooh, I want chemical formula. Yeah, I don't need directed energy armor. That's probably weapons. And then that is microdensity devices. Is probably something else. Chemical formula, the only thing I'm missing. Come on, new product formula, something I don't know. I already know that one. All right. Can I get a better price? Nope, doesn't look like I'm getting a better price on those. All right. Can I buy... Oh, goody, there's a discount on the Atlas Stones. They only cost 2.8 million each. Truly something worth buying. Damn it. All right, well, no purple elements or anything special here. Maybe we'll find it on a planet. Check one last trader before we go. I know this guy's new. Come on, do you have the last vortex crystal thing I need? Or vertex? Or whatever the shit it was. I need green stone with strange marking on it. Do you have? You do not. Dense material that long ago materialized within subterranean networks throughout the galaxy. Extremely aware of high value. Huh. Actually, I probably shouldn't store them on the ship. Down here. And the cool thing is, because I get the, uh... Two warp cells every time I visit Atlas, I can make the stop for, uh... Not on Polo, and then also make the stop for the uh, next interface pretty much for free, so I don't even need to stop off for fuel. So that's good. Alright, uh, bye. Ugh. Whatever, I'm still missing the Omegon, so I shouldn't really worry about getting the last Vortex Crystal or Vertex Crystal. What is it called? Vortex Cube. It's not even a freaking cube! It's like some weird, like, eight-sided, nine-sided box. Honestly, it looks like some kind of alien Chinese takeout. Yeah, shit! It almost hit me, crazy drivers. This is a big old planet, and it's undiscovered. Kind of always want to grab the planet nearest the space station. Ooh, trading post. That might actually have what I need. Because at least this one, if someone comes into the system and we've named it, they'll notice this one. All right, we'll see if there's anything special on this system. Why, game? Not like I didn't stop right above that system. No, let's park two feet off the edge. 
Flora absent, absent, Fauna Baron. Oh. What about these planets? Yeah, there's nothing in here. Wait. If I don't discover the system, can I not do anything with the planet? No, no, okay, here we go. Oh! Okay, it just puts those systems... Um... In, uh... They're, they're marked in yellow. If it's somebody, like, someone else discovered it. So it looks like they landed on one planet in this system. But I landed on a different one. So we can actually name that. Okay. At least we have that going for us. Alright. Let's see if this terminal has different things for sale. Sadly, it's the dead planet, so no real reason to stick around for naming purposes. Uh, nope, nothing good. Usually unattendant at these places. Um, why is this one deserted? That's really weird. And I'll lose these things, why not? and sell it all. Free up the inventory space. It's a nice move, like a nice big planet. Like there's no dangerous uh, weather or anything weird going on. Yeah, that's nice at least. All right. Anything? There's literally no cool resources on this planet either from the looks of it. Looks like there's gold or something, but there's no purples or anything like that. I really don't want to have to go find a pack of animals and just make friends with them in order to gain the rest of that Omega on. Because while it is a doable thing, it takes forever. Alright, well, we've landed on this planet, so we can name it. Go check out that moon. the atmosphere yet? There we go. Um, the moon is there. Oh, nope, that's, that's the planet that the other guy discovered. Where's the moon? I think it's around this side of the planet. It looks like Ball, all he did was go around just discovering the planets. Which, honestly, we may just do and start naming planets after subs and viewers. <laughs> Oh, this is a full other planet. Alright. Now yeah, we'll go to it, and then we'll hop to the next system. Let me reorient my warp drive. So I actually hit the planet, and don't miss it and go off into space. I'm not even seeing very many of those, like, crystalline asteroids, so that was weird that I found that one. I like that design for the asteroids, though. Well, <clears throat> let's get some combat in, it looks like. Yeah, I don't think we're getting to the planet in time to get out of this. How many we got? Yeah, six or seven. Come on, give me a look at you. There you are. Yeah, fly straight at me some more. That makes it a lot easier for me. Damn it. Their ships are way more maneuverable than mine. 
Yep, give him that credit. This is the pirate captain. Why is the captain always the last one I managed to find? And kaboom. Not get a lot of loot for that, though, sadly. Alright. That's the planet I just was at. That was the discovered one. Where are we going? This way. Haha, <laughs> I'm a menace. 40 starships down, an infinite galaxy full ahead. At least it's a nice break to space travel. I'm glad they added that. Does this come back? That does not look like it comes back on its own. We'll, we'll try landing and see if we still have a low shield. I would like to be cheap with my titanium supply if possible. Not like it's that important that I am, but... We got a big old ocean planet this time. It's got life on it, or at least trees. Find a nice little beach spot to land down on. Didn't find anything interesting on this planet. Ooh, right next to some crystal. Titanium! Nice. Now I guess I can stop being stingy with my shield. Oh, I see fish! Actual fish looking fish. Oh, that's awesome. Anything else out in the ocean? A few marks way out in the deep ocean. Actually, a nice planet. Doesn't have any weird environmental things going on for it. Right, let's take a look at its information sheet. Uh, what are we on? Impellent. So much easier if these got organized correctly. There we are. Uh, relaxed, flora high, intermittent fauna. Okay. Not seeing any other real mark signs. Oh, I'm analyzing the grass. And that life form reading vanished. Looks like there's something down there, but I could just be chasing nothing again. So this planet has titanium. Nothing really useful on it. Okay, there is a lone life sign out in the ocean, so I want to go see what it is. I'm going to take off. We haven't done a lot of water planet exploration, so it's kind of nice now and again. Some regular fish. Looks like it's more of the deep sea kind of creature. I don't know. That's a school of fish. Another school. Oh, is it all just the same school of fish? Kind of sad. Kinda pretty though. Get that rock formation thing right there. Okay, we got a little bit farther below the surface than I expected. Come on, up, up. Hopefully these aren't just more schools of the same fish. 
Oh, right, you gotta stay above the... It's not a... You're up above the surface for a second, so it actually fills your tank. Right. Oh, nope, something new. Looks like beavers? Or otters? That's kind of cool. We haven't found, like, a mammalian sea creature yet. Maybe these guys are friendly. Aww. Well, you guys are kind of cute. Look at you. Aww, they're adorable. Alright, I'll check out this other... Oh, it's just another pot of them. Alright. Here's just what that is. Oh, it's just one of those trees. Alright. Back to the ship. But we did find some cute little sea otter things. That wasn't all bad. It was worth the swim. All oxide stuff. Ugh, come on, jetpack, you can do it. My only wish is the swimming was faster when you put on those, like, aeration upgrades, but they just, like, sit underwater longer. Alright. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any land animals. Or... Oh, nope, there's a land animal ping. Alright, let's go get the land animal. Honestly, finding cool, unique animals like those otters are still, like, the best part of the game. Where that hill? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a carnivore. Oh, boy. Yeah, you, you better run. That's a very smart carnivore. Come on, let's get a closer look at ya. It's like an aggressive carnivorous deer. Shoot. Go away. That's right. You go away, Mr. Parrot Deer. Ooh, I like the cave formations. Those are kind of cool. All right, we found three species. I think that's good enough for this planet. And away we go. This was also like one of the most peaceful planets. I don't think I saw a single sentinel on that one. Actually, I need to go check asteroids real quick before we leap off this planet. I need to find what the two elements now. Well, those are Tholomium. Thanks, terrible piloting skills. Because every system... Okay. Every system has two asteroid types. Or materials. And this one seems to have these gold asteroids. Maybe it's different if I hit him with a mining beam. Do they still give me gold? Yeah. This one has gold, and what's the other one? Love that look. Those freaking asteroids. That's a standard one. There we go. Gold and more gold. That's a good system to go if you want gold. Oh, these 
in the ship. And let's go find a new place to work. Atlas interface. No, no, whoa, whoa, where the... Er, if this map didn't have this, like, dynamic, we're gonna, you know, cinematically pan around, it wouldn't keep jumping me different spots. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go check out our next step in the Atlas quest chain and see what's going on. That looks like a scorched magma planet. Look at that. Isn't that an awesome looking one? It's undiscovered even. We can go uh, claim that planet. Oh, wow. The Atlas has definitely uh, changed its appearance a little bit. Yep, definitely looks different. Little creepy thing. Viking word for coward. Ooh, this is a Viking system. Challenge. Command. Okay, you know what? I'm going to... I'm getting kind of tired of it. Just do some upgrades with Sprint. There we go. Now I can Sprint a little bit longer. Ah, much better. These space stations are getting real annoying when I don't have my sprint charged. A keen word for glorious. Word for missing. Yeah, it recharges faster now too, nice. Still not giving me a word every bubble. I wonder if it's just because I know the word the bubble was supposed to teach me, or what? Word for healing. And once again, I am ignoring Atlas, I know. But I'm hoping that these little orbs will eventually teach me Atlas words. So I can actually understand half of the crap that the Atlas is saying to me. Also, it's kind of like therapeutic, like popping a bubble wrap sheet. Like, pop! Hey, you got a new word. Pop! Pop! Initiated. And popping your bubble wrap. Perhaps a blueprint I haven't seen before? Oh, he's angry with me. Oh, maybe he'll give me a blueprint this time. Oh, I already know that one. Damn. Hey! Where's my free... Okay, maybe he's a little pissed at me for ignoring him. He... I don't have my free, uh... Free warp cells. Oh. Makes me sad. Wrong to question this. I've crossed the orbits of countless stars and darkness unmeasured, and yet the atlas remains changeless. What do you mean changeless? It changes every time we show up. My mission predestined. At each interface, an atlas stone awaits me. I'm driven to gather them, but to what end? Perhaps there is only one great prism materializing ahead of me each time I pass. Perhaps my course winds upon itself in a mad spiral. Have I come too far to turn back? Well, we learned the word beyond, so there's a little bit more of that. Answer the question, I will not turn away from the challenge. The atlas guides me, and I will answer its call. Alright, we got another atlas stone. Luckily, we have plenty of warp cells. 
I'm actually slightly glad. What do we need for the last stamina boost? Oh, I just need some carbon. I believe that's sitting there. I'm actually kind of glad that the Atlas has stopped giving me the warp things, because now I actually have a reason to visit planets again for some resources every now and again. Alright, let's go check out this system. We're back in Viking territory, so that'll be nice to have a familiarity with the language. In the way, space station. I also like how the space station is always really close to where you warp in, so it makes it a lot easier to get to every time. Yeah, we might actually have it facing a decent direction this one time, so you don't have to go around the entire face of it. Such a cool looking planet. Actually, somebody hear this. Hello again, Viking. What do you got, Brigadier? Interloper, pathetic multi tool insults you. Friendship, blood, death, death. The multi tool stares submissively at it and starts yapping at my face. When I'm pressed, or yaps her into slow hall barks, it is unimpressed and dramatically so. It's the perfect multi tool! It's a 24 slaughter! Pay units for multi-tool technology, pay units for exosuit. Eh. Get some exosuit. 100 credits probably for something I already know, but it could be something new. Yeah. Surprise there. Come on, give me something I can buy. Vortex cube! Bam! Alright, we got all the vortex cubes we need, now we just need a ton of Omegon. Somewhere we're gonna find a system that lets us buy Omegon. And then we'll be done with our ship. Sell this and this. All right, and we need some carbon. There's some carbon, is that enough carbon? It was. Awesome. All right, now we have the ultimate mobility of sprint and Boost. Oh, whoever blew in just left. Damn. All right, let's head down to a planet. Dog Raffi. Oh, I like that. That's almost a good planet name in and of itself. I was expecting molten. Well, maybe it is, and this is just a different color terrain. Yeah, it's got lo yeah, it's got plants and stuff on it. Yeah, I think we actually are in a snow world, which I believe has the chrysonite more often than not. Which we don't need anymore since we found a bunch of it, but you know. Looks like it's got gold. Is that, is that just a beacon? Yeah, it looks like it'd just be a beacon. I will stop up here. They're gonna have a trade uh, trade thing in here, so at least we can uh, see if we can find some Omegon and whatnot. All right, what's the planet like? Frigid, low sentinels, copious flora, sparse fauna. All right, can we find some of the sparse fauna? Because it always says sparse, and we always find it like right at our first stop. It is apparently very, very cold. The 
resource is... Aluminum. Blah. <gasps> Son of a bitch! There literally are just vortex cubes sitting on the ground on this planet. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Now this would be the money-making planet. Holy shit. It's just like, gun. It's not even triggering alarms. Look for scorched black ground, and they're just all over right there. Great, and I just spent a... Well, it's not like I can't afford to spend the money. I can sell off the rest of them here. Isn't that something? Eh, eh. Hello, sir. Wow, my visor seems to be, like, frozen over. That's kind of cool. Interloper, Sentinel, Demand Ammunition. Alright, you need ammunition, I'll get you some thalmium. Satisfied by my donation to its hunt, presents me the gift in exchange. Blueprint, I already know. Thank you so much. Truly, truly thrilled. Look at all these vortex cubes. It took me no time at all to get those many. Ah. Oh. Kind of a cool looking little multi tool. I like mine, though. She feels like a heavy gun. All right, Vortex Cube. I want to sell 13 of them. Yes. Have the Gek Charm. Yes. Have the Aluminum. And what do you have for sale? Come on, show me something I need. Ah, Calium. Now I better stock up just in case. Only 12 grand. Damn it, I really was hoping for Omega on. Yeah, so we've almost got Calium full. We really just need like 300 Omega on and we're good. is that? Oh my god, my thermal protection is just dropping rapidly. How are you? Did it kill you to scan you? Oh, they're floating Radnox deposits? Okay. Kind of cool. But not what we're needing. Alright, we'll stop at one more place on this planet. Then I think we'll hop to a moon or something in search of more Omega on. We will find like a ruin or something. We haven't done one of those in a while. Oh, I think I see one right there. Oh, no, that was just a partially loaded in mineral deposit. That's an interesting colored refinery. Let's stop in and loot some refinery. What do we got? Titanium. Eh, we can always use more titanium. Saw nothing. Oh, 
Oh, that was fun. Our suit. Get some termium. Oh, good. We got the antimatter. So we'll keep the antimatter. Keep the vortex cubes. Everything else we can sell. Unfortunately, the storm, I can't really explore looking around for any wildlife. I want to see one thing that lives on this planet. Ah, good. Storm is cleared. We got a nice wide open field. And the game crashed. Damn it! Good thing we saved, like, ten seconds ago. Ah. <sighs> Well, good to see there's still bugs in the game. Extreme night temperature detected. Alright. Huh, it gave me a different thing, so I didn't get antimatter this time. Oh well, whatever. All right, let's go try that again. We'll hit the field. Nice wide open field right here. We'll see if we can find some wildlife. According to this, there's some things over this way. Maybe? Oh, hey, we got some birds. Okay, so we have some birds on this planet. What else we got? Ugh, thermal protection sucks. At least with the super sprint, it's nice. Oh, hello, what do we got here? Oh, aren't you little cute little tiny things? Come on, scan, damn it. Scan it! Oh, they're so adorable. Running away, I only want to look at you. Alright, I am satisfied with the level of cute found on this world. Back to the ship. Fuck was that? Did I accidentally click grenade or something? What the hell was that? No, that would have been grenade. That was weird. All right, cute level satisfied. To a new planet. While we're here, let's see what asteroids are in this system. Got ourselves some iron. And emerald. Alright. 
Head over to a new planet. Actually, it looks like that one may be closer. Oh yeah, because that's the moon. Alright, let's see what's on the moon. It's got bright red plants. Kind of cool. A very small moon. Holy crap. Like, I can see the curve of the moon just sitting above the surface. Love the look, though. Oh, it's an intense heat moon. High flora, high fauna. Interesting. I guess it's this nighttime, the heat doesn't bother us as much. That's nice. There's green resources on this planet. You shush, you shush. No call back up. No back up. Saw nothing. What is the green resource? Come on, tell me it's Omega on deposits. Ow! Bad lizard shark thing. Gosh, the birds are cool too. Like this planet, Moon. And now I'm melting alive. Holy shit. For a unique resource, it's Radnox. But only Radnox. Yep, just more Radnox. Damn. Extreme you know, it's only 120 degrees Celsius. You know. More than the boiling point of water. Oh, okay. Maybe I don't want to be here. Maybe I don't want to be here as much. It makes a big difference when you convert it to normal units. Or to Fahrenheit units. <laughs> Holy crap. I wasn't even paying attention that that was that hot. Although there was an... Oh, come on, jetpack. There was an unidentified creature over by the ship. There it is. Go check that out and then we'll get back to the ship before we boil away. Oh, who is a giant space bear? You are. You are a big giant space bear. I like your color pattern. All right, now we kind of need to get back to the ship. we need. 14 whole species on that planet. Damn. 
Alright, so this is an Atlas system, so let's jump to another one. Come on. Oh, the next system's undiscovered. That's cool. So apparently it's a different path, or the other guy jumped it. Two planets? Yeah, let's go claim the system. It's the first time we've had a full system we could take in a while. Oh, there's a distress signal. Well, who's ready for a space fight? Oh, fuck me. Battle detected. Oh, okay, that's a lot of ships. Come back here, bitch. You don't just get to shoot at me and leave. Joining a fucking battle, we're joining a fucking battle. Pulses with the phase beam, and these guys are dead. Phase beams, so I don't accidentally hit the ships. I think the ships are friendly. on anymore. Now I got their attention. Definitely better, but I don't want to use it near the big ships. Stray bullet, I'm not no longer on their friendly list. Nice. Technology recharge. Technology recharge. has increased. Huzzah! 
there's a trading post. There's this. All right. Base station. Destroyed 50 starships now. Huh. That's cool. Get some fuel back. The system's element is. Iridium! No, we're actually pretty good on Iridium. Still haven't recharged my laser. kind of cool finding a space battle like that oh, looks like we're in a gex system they're the ones that typically have the giant cargo ships although i increased with corvax i don't know if that was the ships or whether it was the system system. Hello. So that was a hell of a space battle going on out there. You know, could have used some help. Creation experiment disaster. Low blank. Rare silicate, isotope, or oxide required. Formula reward. Well, I've got titanium on me, so I have some titanium. <laughs> Come on, recipe I don't know. Ah, I already know this recipe. All right. Sell the trade goods we ended up getting off of those guys. And see if we can buy some Omega on. Please, can I have Omega on? No. Just need one more element, and I, my entire ship will be complete forever. Just need Omega on. Yeah, something is fascinating. The fact that you don't have Omega on for me, probably. How about you two, who are in identical ships? Either of you have Omega on. Ugh. Call yourself traitors. All I want is a super rare element. By vortex cubes. Good thing I need those. Uh, the cool thing is, I've never seen a ship quite like mine before, which is kind of cool. Although this, this would have been like the perfect design and color for the ship I would have gotten. Replace these cargo bays with missile racks. Ugh. How much for your awesome-looking ship, sir? Wow, sort of affordable. Actually, kind of shit. All right. Well, these traders don't have what I need. Let's see if Planet Side has what I need. Oh, distress signal again. Where? Oh. Oh, that is... That is a few fighters. Holy shit, we're in a fight. Um, I'm gonna warp this way and, uh... Gonna engage the fringe ones first. I don't 
think I can handle the concentrated fire of about 40 warships. Holy shit. I'll do what I'll help out with what I can, guys, but I don't know what I can do, really. Wow. I'll pull them away from the ship. And surprise! Jeez, these guys have strong beams. Oh boy, I'm starting to pull more than I can handle. Increase the aggro. Even making a dent in the uh, kind of making a dent in this fleet. Center circle grows, I'm in, I'm in range. That'll pull tension. And then when they're on the approach, switch to the phase. On. Circle blows. They start approaching me. Yeah, there we go. Now we got the one two punch down. And this one. figure out which one is actually coming after me.
four left. Oh, we apparently hit another milestone with that kill. Yep, I like the I like the uh, tracking beam followed by the photon cannon strategy. It seems to work quite well. Um, I kind of have my I need my HUD back, please. Nice that I destroyed 50 starships. I'd like to keep that streak going. Those are the last two ships, maybe. Fly right into the swarm of bullets coming right at you. That helps quite a bit. I think we're done. Nice. Another day saved. Actually, didn't even need to use that much uh, of our titanium supplies. Look at all that loot. No. Guess it does pay to help every now and again. Where is the space station? It is this way. Space flights in this game are actually kind of fun once you have a ship that's capable of doing them. Alright, let's get some profit off of that. Emerald, sell the iron, iridium, aluminum, gold, the titanium. Not bad. We made a good tidy sum off of that. We are short on plutonium, though. Pretty good idea to get some more. That is not the right door. See if we can hit the planet this time. Mishnikog Ashuki. Like a water planet? Yep. Radiated, limited, absent, barren. Why is it always a barren planet? Bleh. Not even any good resources on this planet. Where's the. Oh, all the crystals. There's some. I need plutonium, or I just can't even get off the planet. It's a big old hill structure. I wish that was actually, like, a resource. There's nothing really here, resource-wise. You know, at least it's a very tolerable planet, minimal radiation and whatnot. Verify there's no species, there are no species. There's 
not a lot of plutonium. Up oh, there's some more. Yeah, it's enough to get off planet, I guess. Nothing really to see here. Alright, let's go see what the other planet the system has to offer, and I think that'll be a good stopping point. Is this planet? There we go, 30 seconds. It's a very empty system. Kind of sad that we didn't get our last two upgrades, though. All we need is that Omega on. Get that upgrade and that upgrade. So we are really, really out of zinc. Holy shit, I must have accidentally used some of it. Oh, this planet looks totally barren. This is a very barren system. A lot of space fights. I don't know what they're fighting over. Threatening sentinels. No pre no flora, no fauna. Holy shit. And gravitino balls again. Damn it, we don't need those. There it is a world turned to dust long before the rise of the Viking, where the natives turned against the Sentinels. They chafed on the omnipresent size of the machine, resentment began violence, drones were destroyed. More natives fought, and so came the bipeds, the quadrupeds, and the interceptors in the sky. These and more. Soon there was a war, and still the machines came in exponential growth, until at last they ended a species as a punishment. Still the galaxy re refused to learn from this. Once we get those last two, I totally want to do some space piracy. Like, actually start shooting down some of those cargo ships we're protecting. You know, see if that's any kind of fun. See what kind of space sentinel tiers there are, etc. See where some nearby energy crystals are. Can't get just a little bit of plutonium before we head out. Huh, we're not even growing on the side of another mineral deposit. Just haven't seen that. There we go. Yeah. Half a stack. Decent enough. Nice Alright, and there should be a save point so we can claim this planet. And we're done. Awesome. You gonna be a problem, Sentinel? You gonna be a problem? Did they actually shoot the ship? They just sit there, hovering. I guess they just sit there hovering. Make sure I... Oh! But they shoot me as soon as I get out of the ship. Hey! You down there! Go away. Alright. 
Oh, we have a whole bunch of species and planets and stuff to name, but I think we will do this next time on some more No Man's Sky as we continue heading our way towards the end of the Atlas Quest chain and then to the center of the galaxy. We speed up our jumps and whatnot. I'm basically just going to be looking for Omegon to finish the ship, do a bit of piracy, and then just pretty much just hit quest line. So we'll see you next time.